guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and today we're going to be doing a Rams inspired makeup look. It came out like this. Well, let's get started. I'm excited for this game. Today is the Super Bowl 2019. So today the Rams and the Patriots are playing. And as you should know, I am a huge football fan. I love the Steelers. That is my favorite team. So naturally I want the Rams to win as well as the rest of America because nobody likes the Patriots or Tom Brady. Go Rams. And today I know their colors are blue and yellow or goldish yellow, which helps in my favor because I have a ton of yellow and goldish makeup for my Steelers. We're going to start with the MAC Paint Pot and this is in the color Soft Ochre. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer. So with this, it's light enough that I can kind of carve out my eyebrows as well because I don't know how to do that with concealer. I guess it's the same thing. You're not supposed to pull your skin, don't do it. But I already have wrinkles. So why not? Let's make it worse. Just like that. And then the first thing I'm going to do, oh thank God I brought my color switch. Viramona color switch, it's my favorite crease brush. Give that a little wipe off. All right, so I have my Juvia's Place. This is the Masquerade by Juvia's. And this has such pretty colors. It sucks it doesn't have a mirror, but we're gonna start with this. And I'm gonna go right in with Bukina. It might be Burkina, I'm not sure. That's my fault. So I'm gonna take some of this color, just this one right here and throw that right in my crease, just to start out. I'm always scared it'll be too pigmented, so I try and take as little as possible, but now I can kind of go in there a little bit more. I have an idea of what I want to do. I think I'm going to do like a halo eye with gold in the middle. That might look a little weird with blue, but you know what? It is what it is. Perfect. Alrighty. And then, so I know I want a blue. But I think this blue is too light. All right, so let's go in with, we're gonna go in with this Morphe palette. This is in the shade 12P. I believe it's called the Picasso palette, don't quote me. Looks like this, very pretty. I love the colors. So I'm gonna go right in, oh, these shades don't have names. I'm gonna go in with the navy blue shade right here next to the black. And I'm just gonna put that in the outer, outer lid. Oh, it might not be dark enough, whatever. We're gonna build it up to make it dark. I'm gonna use a lot of liner. Oh, this is just a Morphe brush. I'm not really sure. And I'm just gonna try and blend these lines out, the blue into the brown. I'm gonna be a little daring and I'm gonna do this in the inner corner as well. Same color, this navy blue. All right, so I do have the Kat Von D and this is the Super Brow in Daffodil. I use this as a base, not a brow. Is that bad? I don't know, it's supposed to be eye safe and lip safe, so that's what I use it for. All right, and I'm gonna put this right in the middle and we'll do like a halo type cut crease. So we're gonna go right in with this. I've used it a handful of times, I do like this. And just with my flat brush, I should probably use a concealer brush, but this is gonna be more precise for me. I'm just gonna put it on the lid and what I'm gonna do is look up. Actually, that wasn't really tacky. That's as far as my crease goes, but I guess it is. I have really hooded lids, so I usually like to take it up as high as possible, but as you can tell, it didn't work. Try not to do too, too much. I'm not good at cut creases, so I'm not very good at being precise up here, but I'll do my best. What are the Patriots colors? I guess they're like silver and white, or no, red, white, and blue. Duh. Well, this is yellow, so this should be a huge indication that this is not Patriots. It can be harsh, don't worry. We're gonna go back in there with the yellow or the blue and kind of blend it out a little bit better as well once we get the yellow on. Yellow is such a tough color. I don't know why, it just always has been, but it's one of my favorite shadow colors, mostly because of the Steelers, but it's just, it's a tough color. Okay, perfect. Well, for now. Good enough. And I'm gonna go in, this is my Melt stack. I have a couple in here. I have primarily Dark Matter. I love that stack, it's my favorite, but I also have a couple others. I have Promiscuous from the Love stack or the Love spell and Neon from the Neon stack. And it's this yellow, I love this yellow. I like this better than the Butter Cupcake sometimes. So this gets a lot of love during football season. I'm gonna go right in and just pat it on top and kind of build that color as much as possible. This is why I like tacky bases for bright colors. That way it eliminates any fallout as well as 
it sticks to it. I think color pigments are hard in that sense. Because you kind of lay them on. If you don't have a tacky type base, I think it falls right off. And there's nothing more annoying than your shadow falling off onto your cheeks. See how bright that is? I love this color. Okay, so this side's a little bit crookeder than this side, but no big deal. Nobody's perfect. And if I look a little cross-eyed, it's okay. You still get a lot of fallout, but it's better than if I didn't have a sticky tack or a tacky base. There's that. I think that looks good. The pigment's really nice. All right, now I'm going to clean off my brush again with my Vera Mona color switch. I love this thing. This thing has saved my life. And I'm going to go right back into this uh, morphed palette and I'll take the navy blue again. And I'm just going to go above the yellow and kind of connect them. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's how I like to do it. There's no rules in makeup, and that's one of the funnest parts of makeup. There's no rules. Alrighty, I might be done with my eyes for now. No, let's do my glitter. Okay, so what I love to do, I love glitter. So during football, I have my sugar pill, and this is in the color High Viz, and this is like a, a sparkly yellow loose pigment. I'll try and show you as best I can without spilling. This is what it looks like. And I usually just take the excess on the lid because I don't, you know, this is glitter, so this is tough. Just take a little bit on my brush, knock most of it off, and I put this right on top of this. This very nice yellow color. And as you can see, there is fallout, but that is so normal. I don't have tricks to get rid of that. Actually, if you have tricks for glitter and fallout, let me know in the comments. Something I struggle with. I probably should have put more of a tacky base underneath or my Fix Plus, but this is just a extra spark to my eye and I wanted to do before I do my foundation. All right, now that there's glitter everywhere in my eyelashes, just everywhere, we can move on. I like to just write my color switch again. Actually, I think I have a blue here with me. Okay, so this might not be sparkly, but it might be more of a shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. It's called Mineral Loose Pigment by Dex. It's called Top of the Rock Royal. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take whatever's left on the lid. And just, ooh, that's really pretty. That did make it more metallic. And we'll go right over the blue like that. Oh, that's so pretty. I was not expecting that at all. That's really pretty. Sometimes you overlook makeup in your collection, and you're like, oh, I'll never use that, or what's that for? You use it, and it surprises the heck out of you. I can't tell you the last time I used blue loose pigment. I love this color. Okay, well, so far so good. It'll come together, I promise. It does look a little bit wild and crazy, but everything comes together. All right, so what I'm gonna do is clean off my brush again, and I'm gonna go in with my Morphe palette. I think there is a white, and I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone with white. This one right here. This yellow is not bad, but I just like the other one a little bit better. Nothing like a nice matte highlight. I have more yellow stuff for you coming up. So now we're going to move on to foundation. And foundation is one of my biggest struggles in makeup. I can never find a color that matches. Mostly because my face is darker than my neck. And I don't know what to match to. And my hands are different from all of them. So naturally finding a color for me is very, very, very hard. I don't know how to, I, I struggle. Recently I did do the color match, or not recently, but I found my color match from Sephora from the Skin IQ and I got a couple of foundations that match that. So we'll say, we're today we're gonna use the Marc Jacobs Remarkable in the shade 54 Honey Medium. I think it's too light for me. My mom loves it on me. And I don't know how to keep this clean. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I did wear this last night. I'm gonna give this a nice shake. All right, and less is more, said no one ever. We're gonna do just a couple of dots. All right, I'm gonna take my Morphe M439 brush and just rub this in. It's not the worst color on me, but I don't think it's the best match. But I suck at this. I'm gonna be eating too, probably like nachos and wings and stuff, like bar food, sports bar food. And um, so I gotta get my chin really good because unfortunately my chin like sweats or greases, it does something crazy. I think this oxidizes funny. Maybe that's why I have so much trouble. 
So as you can tell, over here looks like my skin tone, actually. Then down here looks a little bit white and ashy. Then down here looks white and ashy. And then this looks like my skin tone. So I don't know what you're doing, Marc Jacobs, but... Oh, all I did was just wipe off the excess on the tube and put it on my nose. I feel like this foundation's a little bit splotchy. This is like the third or fourth time I'm using it, to be honest. And not only is it, I think it's too light for me, but like I feel like it's splotchy in places. Like above my eyebrow right here, like there's a definitive pigment. Like it just looks like there's foundation. And then down here, it looks like this is really, like my chin and my mouth area is really light. Like, can you see that line right there? And over here, it's like light. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Or why that's happening. Ooh, my nose creased really bad. Actually, I think it's just cakey. I'm not loving that. All this extra I'm going to just take and... See? You know, you can see that. I think that's just oxidized. I don't know, man. That was what's on the cap. All right, moving on. I'm going to try something a little bit new again. I love new things. I have the Tarte Shape Tape. I have a little tiny one. It's like a travel one. It's a different shade than I got from the big one. The big one I have in 34S, which is medium sand. And this I have in 35N, which is, I guess, just plain neutral. So I'm going to try this shade and see what I think of that. So we're going to open this up. This is really, really, really tiny. I think I paid 15 for this, which sucks because I paid 22 for this. So I'm going to take this out. It's the first time I'm opening it. Nice. Smells the same. Little, little tiny applicator. All right, and I'm just gonna put this on places I wanna highlight. See, why does, the why does that look like that? It's oxidizing like really weird. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna take my Morphe sponge. This is just the flat sponge like that. Dry, because I don't usually do my concealer wet. It shears out too much, I think. And just pounce that in. Why is it doing that? You see that, right? It's like white right here. But then when I rub it, it like reactivates and gets a color again. So then I'm gonna take, this is the Laura Mercier Universal. This is a little bit more finely grained than the translucent powder that I typically use. I like to take the flat side of the sponge and just dip that in. I usually do my cheek first so I can kind of touch it without it getting messed up. Oh, see how that creases? I hate my under eyes. And I get right in there and try and set it as quickly as possible before the creases and wrinkles get worse. It's going to set everywhere I put that concealer in my nose. I've never seen my nose crease like that before. That was a little weird. All right, so I guess we'll powder my whole face now since everything looks really weird and I don't know why. So I'm just going to go right back into my Laura Mercier. And this is my e.l.f. brush. It's just a face powder brush. I go in and dip it ooh, and try not to choke on the powder that comes up and just put this all over my face. This kind of sets my foundation. We're going to just finish up the face a little bit. I use, ugh, so much dog fur. Hula by Benefit. And it's just a, I know I'm out, but I have more. You saw my haul. I bought another one. And this I'll use to contour my face. And this is definitely subtle enough for me. I usually buy it too dark and it's like, ooh, heavy contour. But this is perfect. It's just enough and not too much. This also kind of hides the fact that I think my foundation is not the right color. Alrighty. And then I take this little tiny angled brush. It's called Eyeshadow Brush by Kat Von D. It's from an old, old, old brush set she launched. And I'll take just a little bit of this, knock most of it off, and this is how I contour my nose. Alrighty. It's subtle, but it's there. Actually, we'll take the Morphe one. We'll play with the Morphe color, the yellow. So we're gonna take this yellow in Morphe with a little tiny smudge brush. This is the Bedellium Tool 758. It's my favorite smudge brush. I'm gonna go right in with the yellow and we're gonna kind of mimic the top. And we're just gonna do this in the middle. See how it's not as popping? But it's okay, this should be subtle anyway. 
All right, perfect. And then again with the color Mona, Vera, Vera Mona color switch. And then we're gonna go back right back into the navy. And we're gonna do just the outside and the inside of the eye. And I connect it on this side. So it connects without here. The next step I'm going to do is I'm gonna take angled liner brush. This is, this has no name actually. This is LA, oh, this is my Ulta LA brush. I'm gonna take my Inglot liner. This is number 77. This is the black Inglot. I'm basically out of it and it's split through the middle. It still works for me. I have the drops to keep it nice and moist. We're gonna take this and we're just gonna do the upper line, upper lash line. I feel like I'm the worst at liner. I always get it in my lashes. I love using gel on just the upper lash. Recently, I've been taking the Kat Von D and this is the Inkwell liner. Looks just like this. Nice felt tip. I'm gonna go out here and do the wing. Matching eyeliner is one of the hardest things that I do. Take my Inglot one more time with this flat line angled liner brush. And I'm gonna take this and gonna put it right in my inner rims. Since my hands are a mess, I'm going to take my beauty sponge, pull this down just a little bit. I think inner uh, waterline liner pulls everything together. And I guess I'm gonna go back in one more time with my Bedellium tools. And I think I'm gonna go in with my other palette, my Melt Stack. I'm gonna go right in with Neon again, and we're gonna dab this right in the middle underneath. And we're gonna go right back in with the Morphe one to get the navy blue again. One last time and just deepen it up as much as possible and get nice and close to the lash line. I like the Buxom. This is the little travel one. I have the big one as well, but I just have this with me. And we're gonna do the under or the lower lash line. I like to make this kind of clumpy so you can kind of see it because I don't have really long lashes. See? I looks good and it's clumpy as shit because I don't have line or lower lashes or much of them. There we go. The under lashes are done. We're going to let this dry for a minute and we're going to go in with falsies. We're going to go in probably with the Miamis because I love the Miamis. This is by Lily Lash. This is the Sephora Lily Lashes Sephora Glam, the Sephora collection. I just took one of them. I'm going to try and practice fitting it. Lashes for me are really, really tedious, but I love them. I think they come out really pretty if you do it right. All right, this will be fine. All right, so I'm going to go in right here with the glue. This is the Lore Lash Glue. Keep going right on the lash line and paint it right on, focusing on the outer and then the inner. I'm sorry, these are the Lily, again, the Lily Lashes in the Style Miami. They look really good, I love them. I have a couple different pairs. I have actually a bunch, I bulk ordered them when they were on sale. This is the Velour applicator. It's got a little comb in here, which I love. I kind of comb them together and make them blend as best as possible. Finishing touches for now, cause I don't think I'm going, I don't have a blue lip color or yellow. I have a chapstick on my lips right now. I'm gonna just wipe that off. We're gonna go in with MAC and this is in the color Cork. It's my one of my favorite lip liners. I'll go around and go around the perimeter of my lips and kinda, I sometimes overdraw them. Don't judge me, I'm not getting lip filler. And then I'm gonna take my Urban Decay in 1993, which is a comfort matte lipstick. I love this color, I don't know why. It's definitely a little pink, but I, don't, I just love this color. Oh, I forgot to highlight. I always forget this part. All right, so we're gonna go in with the Bretman Rock palette, which if you don't know, it looks like this by Morphe. Some of these colors are beautiful. We're gonna go in with, I guess, Vacation. Color names are cute. I'm gonna go in right with the brush it comes with, the fan brush, and rub that just a little bit and put it on my upper cheek up here. Oh, that's really pretty. I do like this color. I never liked fan brushes, but I like this one. They should sell it separately. I'd pick up at least two more, to be honest. Okay, and then I like to go in with my little tiny flat brush, and I'm going to use the color Bebe Girl. Bebe Girl. Bebe Girl. Literally, B-E-H, B-E-H, Girl. Bebe Girl. So I'm going to take this and put it right down my nose. 
and highlight the bridge of my nose. Looks white in the pan, but it comes out a little bit more pink. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I'm not mad, I don't hate it. And there we go. I think that concludes my look for today. This again is my Rams style or my Rams inspired makeup look. And this is what I'm wearing tonight for the Super Bowl. I actually have to go get ready. It's almost four o'clock. Game's in about an hour and a half and I'm going about 20 minutes south. Anyway, overall, I love this look a lot. I think the eyes came out really well. I was going to do more like a cut crease type thing, but I like this better. Like it's subtle. The lashes kind of hide the not choppiness, but the severeness of the middle halo because, I mean, I'm not really great at that. I'm still learning and I'm still playing. Practice makes perfect. And the lashes are very comfortable. Lily lashes, I definitely suggest that they are $30. But if you go on the site and you look for the sales and sign up for the emails and stuff, you'll find them for cheap. And I'm not getting cheap. I once got the, a pair for free when I bought a couple. Like, I bought an additional one of these, an applicator, and glue. I think I spent $14 and I got a pair of Miami's for free. And of course the buy one, get one, whatever. Overall, okay, back to this. The foundation, this is again, this is my like third or fourth try with it. I don't, not loving it. It's like very ashy down here. And I think, I'm not sure if that's just because I have a lighter shade than normal, but like when I take a brush again to it, like it kind of like reactivates and goes away. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. It's a little bit weird to me. It's just weird. I don't I don't know what else to say. Like by my nose, like you can tell it's like white. And I know you can see that on camera. So I don't know why it does that. I don't know why it's doing that. And it was way before I put on any type of setting powder. So actually, let's just go right back in and reset. Maybe it is a setting. No, it can't be the setting powder. All right, again, I have no idea what that's about. It's a little bit weird. And I just have a permanent flashback. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, ma'am. So we'll see. I do like it for now, but who knows? All right. Well, that wraps everything up. Go Rams tonight. We need all the support. They need all the support they can get. Well, thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments what you think. And please go Rams. We need it or they need it the most. So hopefully this will be a good game. Alrighty. Well, thanks again. I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.